and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Professor Taskmaster. It's a returning deck for us on Meme Tier Monday. What we got going on here is a deck that cares about our one cost allies. We have Jagged Taskmaster from Bilgewater with Plunder. Grant them plus one plus zero everywhere. That's a permanent buff. And then Professor Von Yip. The Professor Von Yip has to be in play. But if it is in play, and then whenever whenever we do summon a one cost ally, it gets plus two plus two, um, again permanently. But it's got to be in play, and so that's that's kind of what we have going on here with our meme tier deck is just playing a whole bunch of one mana cards and these two things. Um, so yeah, of course our best one mana card is going to be Teemo, and then we'll have you know just a variety of other ones. We even have Double Trouble that can get us to one random cost followers. And then for late game stuff, we also have Jinx in here, so that if we empty our hand, since we have so many one mana cost stuff, Jinx can level up and then start creating some super mega death rockets, which now cost one mana, which that's uh, that's convenient. That's going to be better. And then some card advantage with two augmented experimenters, where we can discard our hand, um, which can either level up Jinx, or maybe we don't have any cards in hand, draw three, and we can also use it as a removal spell. And also two Chief Mechanist Zevies that um, basically have us draw twice, you know, two cards a turn. Each time we draw a card, uh, we get two of them, but they're fleeting. So that could that could work well with these one mana cards, getting multiple of them at a time. All right, that's our deck. We'll see how it goes. We're going to be playing our five games over in normal. That's what we do with our meme tier decks. Um, we got two other meme tier decks for today. We're going to be playing Counterfeit Copies with some Poros up next. And then the ultimate challenge is a deck with all Challenger units. There's not a single unit that doesn't have Challenger in the deck. Um, Ezreal Twisted Fate's good at killing one mana cards. So I kind of want to lead with Pool Shark. No. Ooh, there's the Professor. Okay, so we want... We want the Professor in play before we get a lot of these one drops if possible. I'm gonna use thermogenic beam on the <clears throat> powder keg. I'm glad I didn't pool shark because pool shark would have got these things. That was a little risky with everything that we saw being low cost stuff. I pool shark was gonna be a little risky. And I so again I don't want to play double trouble. Or pool shark before we play Professor Von Yep. Ah, hope they got. <laughs> yep. I say, hope they got something kind of crappy. That's our deck. We're playing a bunch of things that are pretty crappy. Okay, so I wanted them to, to tap down to not kill Von Yip. And now double trouble. Get. <laughs> All right, we got three, three hapless aristocrat and a three, three plunder poro. Unfortunately, we didn't trigger any uh, keywords for plunder poro. That's still not bad. <laughs> All 
All right, our deck's working. Okay, I'm gonna go with. I could play Teemo as like a blocker for that elusive. That's not that important. Let's go with the Shark. I would like Teemo to be a 3 3. And the other thing about Teemo is like if we, if I would have played Teemo, then they'd have to choose, like if they had a removal spell, they would have to choose between Professor Von Yip and Teemo. Well, here, if we, if we just go like that, then they just got an easy um, easy kill on that thing. going to be trying to empty my hand for Jinx level up. I think that's what I want to do. Let's get this Jinx to level up. And so like next turn I'm going to play Jinx and then rummage away whatever we draw. So hoping we draw something that's kind of bad. We can rub it away and level up Jinx and then... I feel like I should have played the Teemo first. All oh, right, we're getting a fleeting card. Well, Every fresh is that's all right. Yeah, but when do they explode? When do they explode? Oh. Well, future Jinxes will be leveled up now. Cool. So future Jinx leveled up. Stop taking all my stuff. Never lost a fair game. Something for all. Signing all. Rules are made to be broken. Like nobles. Her people. <laughs> Hmm. <clears throat> so we'll play this, and then Experimenter, and then, so basically I haven't really been attacking, so I haven't really wanted to kill these things, because I want to have... Ideally, we would have... Um, you know, super mega death rocket. They're gonna be able to kill up, kill all those things. Oh no, because that makes me discard the super mega death rocket. Whoops. The weak don't deserve mercy. Whoops. Huh. I guess that's how that works.
Oh, meme tier decks. Well, that could have gone better. So I'm not sure I just need to play Teemo out here. I mean, I guess I do. That was the reason not to. Okay, wait, Super Mega Death Rock, is it slow? It is slow, darn it. We get to attack first. Unfortunately, get to attack first. Come on, stop doing that. Stop taking my stuff. So they've played all three pilfered goods and two black market merchants. Uh, stole my thermogenic beam. They should have attacked first, to be honest. They really should have attacked first. Now I get to kill these things for free, and they, they knew all those were going to die. They should have attacked with those. That's the best draw! That was the best draw. Immerse yourself in the Well, unfortunately, those are like the worst draws. We had the best one for a little bit. here also. It's so like the 3-1 blocks here does make them chump block with a whole lot of other stuff. So I only got eight cards left. One of them should be a Jinx, one should be a Teemo. Zevi. We obviously should be dead, but... 
That's how it goes with our meme tier decks. Oh, come on. They played every single Black Market Merchant and Pilfer Goods in their whole deck. That's not cool. That's not cool. Playing all of those. All right, and and I can certainly assume that we're gonna get ran over by Noctis. Uh, that seems like a really safe assumption. Kind of want to keep this just because it's a five-six. It's cost six mana. Alright, we got some pool sharks. Get him, Timo. Get in those puff caps. Let me show you. Nice. That's not a bad fleeting card. I'll take that one, because we won't because you know Taskmaster we're gonna have to play like the next turn. We play in build rules, son. Who's gonna get in my way? Uh, pool shark, that'd be who. Why is the two three attacking? Not sure why that two three had just attacked. That was a that was a bad attack. Maybe that's why it's normal though. We ride for Noxus. Hmm. Man, I should probably play get excited, but I want to play Taskmaster. I mean, what does Get Excited do? It just doesn't do anything. These are fair and the wind's pulling. We sail! I boss. A game. Go on, then. What Get Excited would do is, you know, like, we could Get Excited the Rider, and then we could uh, Mystic Shot the right. You know, then the next turn, this turn, like, during combat, we'd be able to Mystic Shot the Rider. It's gonna be so much trouble. These are fair and the wind's pulling. We sail! I boss. Wow. No attacks. No attacks. Take 14. That sounds good. Just take 14. It's fine. It'll be fine. Our decks look pretty strong, though. We've we've drawn well. I mean, it's they had turn one, two one, turn two, Crimson Disciple. Turn three, something. Like I said, Legion Grenadier, turn three. And then turn four, 
Basilis Grider turn five cat of the arm. So they've had a really good hand. I don't think that they've done combat correctly, but you know, we still killed him turn six through that. So that's pretty good. GG's. Yeah, they really didn't combat correctly. <clears throat> oh, whoops. Win. The attack with the 2 3 was poor, and then not attacking with the 6 4. Mono Freljord? Mono Freljord. Yeah, Ultimate Challenge is a deck that's only challengers. Those are the only only things we're playing. All right, gonna lead with. Okay, yeah, now definitely. So we're gonna lead with Cutthroat, and then not spend any mana on turn two, and then turn three Mystic shot them plus Jagged Task Master. It's it's my only way to turn on Plunder on their turn. Like they'll have the attack token on turn three. And then I can go turn four, Professor. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that's definitely a meme tier deck. Yes, yeah, so there's not not a single unit that doesn't have challenge. It's only challengers and then some spells, you know, like some fight spells and removal and stuff like that. Open wide. I'm not sure if it should be Ultimate Challenger, if I should be calling it Ultimate Challenger instead of Ultimate Challenge. I don't know. I may I may have the wrong name. Maybe I should be calling it Ultimate Challenger. Yeah, it looks like opponents going with the Yeti deck, or I don't know, they just got some Freljord good stuff. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Winning with that deck, yeah, winning with the deck is the ultimate challenge. <laughs> okay, yes, yeah, so they're going Yetis. This is gonna hurt, but we're gonna have a lot of one drops that we about to play. Is our home. Safeguard our homes. All right, so we're gonna chump block with that thing. I don't want to take five. We'll replace it. Some 4-3 elusives. Bring me the calm of an ice shrouded world. Mm. Could play Pool Shark, but I'm gonna kill this Rhyme Tusk Shaman instead. Favorite card in terms of the card text. <laughs> um. Hmm. 
not not one that just like jumps out to mind. Go on then. No, yeah, not one that just jumps out to mind. So I want to play this because the quick attacks we could attack in and see see what they do, but they're holding their mana back, so that likely means frostbite. You know, of course this being all frail your deck, so they're they're probably like frostbite these if I attack them with them. So I'm not going to attack in and not let them use all that frostbite mana. Cert yeah, certain interactions. I'm sure there's... Okay, so yours is... Uh, Maokai saying, Be gone, thief. Um, I mean, I really like... Some of my favorite cards are like Teemo and Puffcat Peddler and Starlet Seer. Was thinking more pew pewing. I feel like Avaro's and Hearth Guard. That card's cool. Oh, okay, but yeah, you're talking about okay, so you're just talking about their voice okay, so the voice lines. No, no battle fury mana. They just got the seven mana. Misfortune, twist of fate, saying fate, fortune. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, Lucian has some pretty metal lines. Like he, he's got some cool lines. How he's over there, like, I'll sleep when they're dead. Or, uh... He's like, uh, I'll find vengeance on my own. Double trouble. I can't. Um, we can't play like another one of these, and you know, and say. Oh, you know, over uh, and say replace anything else. So. Okay, GGs. Nautilus versus Nautilus is good. So they say the Nautilus says my voice is deeper than yours. And then the other one goes, I disagree. Really? That's crazy. <clears throat> I haven't I haven't heard that. I've heard that the double or like the double Garen, yeah, it's like four Demacia. No, four Demacia. Fiora Garen. How do you wield such a clumsy weapon with justice and honor? That's pretty good.
You like the arena battle caster? Okay, yeah. That's pretty good. He's pretty good. What is that? Do we count that? How do you know? How do you know what happened there? We had a great hand. Nah. Okay. Yeah, we had a great hand. That's unfortunate. That was gonna be a good game. Emo says one e. Yeah, we were about to roll our opponent. I think we're going to be winning that. Our hand was awesome. They can't block because fearsome. My cutthroat too fearsome. But we can block Teemo. They can't block me. I get to block them. It's a good spot to be. Alright, so my plan is not play anything this turn. Save the three mana for... Double Trouble, next turn, drop Professor Von Yip, and drop Double Trouble. That's my plan. And have Professor Von Yip in play before we start playing these other one drops as well. Sejuani Poros say, Sejuani says, "Oh, I want to kiss your cute face, but I refuse." I've never, I haven't heard that. That's a new one. <laughs> this tells Lee that he's twice Lee's age. Well, that's a good one, Fleet Feather Tracker. It's a good one drop. I feel like I should challenge Starlet Seer, honestly. Nothing like the stink of glory and sweat. I'll show you how it's done. Very risky indeed. Sure, it will be. By snow and yeah, they are really focused on Teemo dealing damage. Do they want to use Get Excited on my elusive blocker and not on Professor Von Yip? thing out here before we get too many puff caps it's the thing about this deck Aug augmented experimenter isn't as good you know drawing tons of cards isn't as good when they have all these puff caps mm. 
Oh, I tried to get that thing out of here. <laughs> Dang, it still gave me tons of upcaps. Um... Oh, Karma with Deny just saying no. That's a classic. That's a good one. You say no. Alright, well, I'm drawing a whole bunch of cards anyway. Or, okay. Because before next turn, we would draw five cards, but we are at a nice, healthy life total. Uh, yeah, that's a good one. No. You're looking forward to Lulu's interactions? I can't... I can't handle this character named Lulu. I don't even know what this character named Lulu is like, but some people have mentioned that character in, in chat. But whenever I hear Lulu, I just think of the Final Fantasy X character Lulu. And so, like, that's... That's all I'm going to think of for Lulu. Uh, Vimadinger. I don't usually like keeping get excited and I'm not going to. Yeah, we're just playing some meme tier Monday decks today, so we're just playing a normal. Um, you know, this this one is all about Professor Von Yip and Jagged Taskmaster. want to kill that thing with get excited but I don't know what I would use what I would discard all right well now I know what to discard we certainly do not need two augmented experimenters that's a card you definitely do not need two of one will just make you discard the other I should probably just attack with the Daring Portal also if they block that. It's, life's okay. No, I guess not because of all of the... Um, <clears throat> it's all the 3-1 turrets they could make. Excited, discard Spirit's Refuge, kill Teemo. I tried being polite. Trouble coming at ya. Wow. So the thing is, is I want to play Teemo. <clears throat> if I play Teemo, then. Our turn's kind of a waste. I'm on the verge of something. 
I'm gonna do this instead. What science without a little risk? We're doing it. Level up the jinx. Use my mana so much better. Kill that thing. Get a whole bunch of new cards. <laughs> well, our one drops are going to be pretty big. We do need to empty our hand before we get to Super Mega Death Rocket. Why do Heimerdinger players just always have everything? I don't like it. Like, I want to attack in with, you know, like, with, like, Jagged Butcher and stuff, but then we level up their Vi, and I don't think I'm supposed to level up their Vi. Open wide. I mean, if I attack him with Jinx, they would easily kill Jinx with Vi and again level up Vi. All they need is any kind of protection, which their whole deck is built around those protection spells. We already saw them discard a Lifesteal Barrier. I think it's very likely they have another Lifesteal Barrier. Maybe I should have played the two five sixes, attacked with them, attacked with them. Just need to be need to be able to go wider. The problem with the this Heimerdinger level up is quite a problem because now they're going to make four two elusives um, before they were making, you know, three ones, and our super mega death rocket could take out three ones if I would unload the hand. Yeah, that's the rumor that people keep saying is that the next region is going to be Targon. So that seems pretty likely. like 10 cards over there. We're going to try to burn them out with Super Mega Death Rockets.
down to five. Another elusive. I think we did pretty, even though we're likely gonna lose this, I think we did pretty good against, you know, Heimerdinger and all the free stuff that Heimerdinger gives you. I think we still did pretty good. Yeah, I mean, it's... Theoretically, we can win, but it's not likely. Lab works! Getting that resub. Thank you, Lab works. Second sub of the day. Yeah, so we got a few, you know, we got different meme fantastic themes today. This one is going to be all about the one cost units with Professor Von Yip and Jagged Taskmaster combining. Alright, so we need top deck of burn spell. And we need them not to have Deny. I, I assume they just drew deny, and so like that's why they do that because they're in normal and they feel and they're playing against the meme deck and they feel like they need to need to do that to feel good about themselves. Yeah, definitely feel like they drew. They drew a deny. I mean, I can't wait until he burns mana first because we're, we're taking lethal because the Vi's leveled up. Oh no! No deny. Wow! We won! We won. I did not expect that to happen. We drew leveled up Jinx. Hey, thanks Aston. Aston. Keep on me, man. Thank you. Drew the leveled up Jinx to get the four damage in, uh, and then the Mystic Shot. I mean, that's that showed the strength of Pool Shark. You know, the, those Pool Sharks helped us keep drawing those last few cards. We got like those extra draws in with Pool Sharks, and we needed those. We needed every single draw. We got our, our last card basically. <laughs> that makes this deck meta now. Because <laughs> of that top deck. I don't know about Jury Rig. We'll put it back. Yeah, this is our sixth game because we didn't we didn't count one, because we had one like we were gonna run the person over turn but they quit on turn two. Our hand was great, but they quit on turn two, so I didn't count it. Where do you stand on cold shots? So yeah, I oh, oh, so then we're four and one. Oh, oh. Right, we're four and one, and so we're supposed to stop. Four plus one is five. I'll try one. That's a thing, I suppose. Delish. Well, if we lose this, we won't count it. Yeah, 
Yeah. <laughs> Deck's too good. That was a crazy Vimerdinger um, game for sure. You need to just get a new camera. I'll look into that today. I'll look, I'm going to look into getting a new camera today. I will play my part. Sure. I'll trade. Transfusion aggressively to take down that daring Poro. Can't have that daring daring Poro running around. Nope. It's too daring. Can't block the Prowling Cutthroat. Too fearsome. So if they want Shadow Assassin to trade, they'd have to trade with the T2. Or like, like uh, a Pool Shark. <clears throat> Unfortunately, we've drawn three of our... Three of our four six mana spells. A little awkward. Yeah, we <clears throat> the Mega Keg was the Gauntlet deck, so we got the seven wins in that Gauntlet deck. We played five Gauntlets this weekend, and we got seven wins in three of the five. And then the other two we went 0-2 oh and 1-2. Oh and and right. <laughs> so we were quite feast and famine with our Gauntlets. Uh, now I want to play that card. We're going to go Zevi. Piltova's finest. I love a taste of the action. That's a bad sign for me. They're willing to attack with that. Probably means Ravenous Flock. And I don't really want to block and then get Ravenous Flocked and have my Zevi die. Easy, Tiger. We're gonna make some big jagged butchers. Like this? Oh, I see. We about to make some big jagged butchers. There's plenty of killing left. I won't cast that yet. <laughs> One mana six fives. Yeah, they spent six mana on their six six, five mana on their three six champion. Like, look how small this champion is, and they spent five mana on it. Needs to give it the times. I go where the road takes me. All right, so that's the thing we have to kill. I need to spend some mana first. Okay, I have eleven mana, so I can go six seven, and then thermogenic beam eleven. Let's play Zevi first. Right, 
Prowl this Prowling Cutthroat would be a 4-3 elusive. Sure. I was gonna, I was gonna replace that thing anyway. Awesome. Got Yasuo out of there. Oh my gosh, so many Professor Von Yips. What do you do? So many Professor Von Yips. I don't have room for him. Attacking with the Professor is kind of bad because it do damage to me with the Crimson Disciple block there. If I play Experimenter, we draw three, but that's really drawing six Fleetings. That doesn't necessarily help me. Yeah, I guess we could we could replace the Zevi and then we don't draw six fleetings. I'm just gonna draw six fleetings. Okay, so we we dealt damage to them, right? These are turned on. Right? Yeah, this thing dealt damage to them. Sweet, thank you. Alright, so we're gonna go Pool Shark, draw an additional card, uh, Pool Shark there, Pool Shark, would I rather have a 6-2 or a 4-4? Four four? So we make that decision again. Pool shark there, pool shark there. And then uh, Jagged Butcher. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Looking for a burn spell. That's so why I wanted to play the Pool Shark, so we drew some more cards, looking for a burn spell. Stay away from that switch. Hold it, sweetheart. We dig even farther. Oh no, deny! Another day in the field. 
Stop stunning everything. That's crazy. Double trouble. This, this game is crazy. Now it's a party. Oh, they drew two puff caps. They, they had 25 cards, and we just gave them five puff caps, and they drew two puff caps. <laughs> oh, that is silly. <laughs> we got a six one, really, with this Professor Taskmaster. We didn't even count one of them. There we go. This deck's sweet. This deck's sweet. Chief Mechanist Zevi was cool. We had we had some good we had some good luck. For sure. We yeah, we definitely had some good luck. Pool Shark was awesome. And then yeah, we have our, our elusives. It's just a, you know, it's a different deck. It's pretty fun. Taskmaster didn't do a ton for us, but did some. And, like, being a 4-3 was, like, really helpful at some points. Oh, that's some weird hair. Like, yeah, that's some weird, weird hair. Um, what's going on? Wait, what's going on over here? That guy running like that or something? Off of a ship? Or a boat? I guess diving into the water? Quick like diving into water, it looks like. Oh, hey, above that, isn't that... Is that Cloud Drinker up there? That looks like... That Cloud Drinker? That, that sky animal thing? Maybe. Oh, no, 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 that's just the, that's just on the ship. That's just the... Never mind, that's just the ship. Um, yeah, never mind. That's a sail on a ship. Um... Anyway, yeah, a cool deck to play. Glad we brought this one back. Um, the Chief Mechanist Zevi, that was a cool addition. Uh, got to do some neat stuff with that thing for sure. Um, yeah, is that Misfortune, Misfortune's ship, the Siren? Yeah, yep, that looked like the Siren. I don't see them over there, but yeah, that looked like the Siren. With the sail, like the, that's how the sail looked. Um, all right, Professor Taskmaster, awesome deck. <laughs> that's, that's what we got going here. All right, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Uh, feel free to leave any comments. Let me know what you think of the deck. Uh, what do you want to see next week for Meme Tier Monday? All that kind of stuff. Hope you had a lot of fun with this one. I certainly did. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.